family, how are we doing today? Thought I'd come in and give a quick vlog before I start my day. It's a lovely day today. It's supposed to rain. Uh, if, when they say that, usually it always rain on my side of town all the time when it says that. somebody, Some parts of Jacksonville probably won't get the rain, but 99% of the time, I get it. Well, we get it. I'm going to say I because I live there. My husband and my daughter um, live together, so we will get it. And our outside family, if you guys have met them, I did did a little quick vlog to introduce you guys to our outside family. Our dogs. The traffic is good today, I have to say. I'm looking forward to being busy. I am so um, looking forward to it. I love doing real estate. I really do, you know, because for one, I get to see the expression on my buyer's face when they find that house they just in love with. Not like, I need for them to love their home that they're going to purchase. Hopefully, it'd be their forever home. But sometimes, you know, when you move into a home, it, it, in the beginning, it feels like it's your forever home because you love the features, you love the way it looks. And then you get inside and, you know, it's not as big as you would like it to be. Sorry, something got on my um, mirror. It wasn't the big as you like. Now, I love my home. I love my, I got all these gadgets though. I just need more, you know what? I need to build something for them in there. I need to build something to put all my cooking stuff in it. I need I need my a place for my air fryer, my bacon fryer, my slow cooker, my um frying my chicken pot and you know my daughter just bought me a um smokeless grill and my husband said oh my god he was putting everything out in the garage on the shelf and my daughter brought everything back in <laughs> I know I have to do something maybe I'm gonna look inside my little wall cabinet that I have standing up from ceiling to bottom and see if I can organize a space to put those in I might have to get rid of some stuff because there's so much stuff in that pantry I mean not a pantry because you can't walk in it but there's so much stuff in that cabinet that we don't even use it just sitting in there taking up space to be honest so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna it's so much stuff in there that we don't use so I'm gonna go through it and that's probably what I'm gonna put on my um, cooking stuff I don't know the name much of it used for them, you know, just my air fryer, my bakery, um, bakery, <laughs> my, yeah, because I did, um, bake cake for my girls, I think they just wanted me to see me bake, because my daughter ain't even eating it anymore, her and her, and my goddaughter got one, but my god don't stay with us, so I understand her, but my daughter has not taken another slice of that cake, that's why I don't bake, because it's, it's just going to go to waste, because I ate like two pieces, um, I asked my husband yesterday, did you eat some cake? The cake, what cake? I'm like, you don't see that cake over there? I it on the table. He goes, oh, you baked that? I said, oh, man. I said, see, this is why I don't bake cake. I just go to the store and buy a slice or two. Once I examine Publix cake, I examine them to make sure the icing is good. And then, you know, I bring a slice home for us. I bring the carrot cake and for me sometimes and I bring her a vanilla cake home slice and then we're satisfied with that mm -hmm. but I love I mean what flavors of desserts do you guys like because I love that um dulce leche cake and if you don't know what that is that's a vanilla cake and it has three different milks and it has regular condensed and evaporated milk all three mixed together with some whipped cream on top 
cherries, and, you know, decorate the way you want. But those are so delicious. All Publixes don't sell them because they probably don't, um, people don't buy them like that. But it's certain ones that do sell it because it goes fast off the shelf. Because every time I go on, I have to make sure when I see it, you know, if we're in the mood for it, I buy it. It's not that big. It's just a little, maybe a three by three or three by five pan. A five by seven, I'm sorry. And it's a little small one. You know, you just enjoy for a couple of days. Maybe you get light. It depends on how you slice it. Because me and my husband can get three and three. Three slices a piece out of it. And then we're done with it. Yeah. AC is on. What is this sun? Let me do that a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, I, w I might... You know what? I might show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when I get ready to clean it out. You know, because we go, my husband, well, not me, my husband goes to the store and buy all this stuff that we don't eat and then it just ends up sitting in the pantry. So what I'm going to do is make a box to, I give it to Goodwill or something. I'm not sure where I could do with the food items that I don't open, um, who I should give them to, but I don't know. I'm going to see where I could take it. If you guys have any suggestions before I actually do that part of the video, um, where I could take perishables to, to give it to um, someone, to give it to a family, because I have no idea what to do with that, because I usually don't buy a whole lot of food. I only buy food at the moment that we can eat. That's what I usually do. I buy, especially meats, I buy meats on a, maybe a, every two days or so to, I don't like to store it in the freezer for too long, put it that way, because I feel like meat don't last long in the freezer. I don't know if I don't pack it right, maybe because, you know, I just buy the, um, you know, the meat that they have in the, meat that they have in the store, I just buy it and I put it in the freezer, but I think I let it stay too long because sometimes it's like, you know, it's white ice flakes around them and so they just um don't be any good anymore and I get upset with myself with that so <laughs> so I stopped doing it I, I stopped doing it so I'm gonna go through my pantry and see what I can get rid of and donate some stuff because that way I do have space to put all my cooking stuff in and then when I need it I just take one out Maybe I designate two shelves to it. I'm telling you, I got stuff in there. And my hope, hopefully, you know what? Hopefully my daughter will be home to help me if she wants to, hopefully. Um, she can help me. Oh, this traffic is moving so good. And I'm happy for that. talking to y'all on my way to work it gives me something to do you know i i i know the uh, my little vlogs going to work is a short but it actually takes me about 25 30 minutes to um get to work um when i'm start driving then i'll be like well you know what let me vlog for a little bit you know i'm just sitting here you know looking at the traffic but today is beautiful one day I went, it was like bumper to bumper. I think that don't happen to me once so far. Cause I, it might have, might not have been the first time it happened on, on this Buckman, but since I've been started going back to this office, I am been good with the traffic. I might um, share with you guys um, my lunch today. I don't know because for today, this morning, I did you know, decided to fix myself a breakfast. I fixed me um, so, uh, a piece of sausage and a piece of ham with the croissant. So usually if I fix me a breakfast, I don't be hungry for lunchtime. I don't get hungry no more until let me see i ate at 7 maybe 7 45 and i don't know i probably won't be hungry again until like two it depends 
how my digestive system feels that day. Because sometimes it depends on what I eat. You know, I'd be hungry in two hours. And then it depends on what I eat. Now, like I said, I ate one croissant with some um, cream cheese on it. I ate a piece of sausage and I ate a piece of ham. So I'm going to see. I ate a piece of um, you know the ham you buy when you get from, um, okay brain, help me out. The big ham that you do on holidays, you got that big ham, you want to do some ham with some pineapple stuff on it. Okay, so Publix actually take those hams and they slice them. They slice them in slices and they sell those. So I buy those ham slice like that and then I, you know, come home and I use those for pieces of um, piece of breakfast or I make me a ham summer with that. I don't get those um, what else that ham is? The deli ham and all that? No. I get the ham that we use when we gonna go out for Christmas and stuff. And I have, you know, the public slice them up and I have that ham. You know, I that's what I use. There's a lot of things. You know, if you guys don't have a Publix or if you do have a Publix, take advantage of the meat department. Get that meat the way you want it to be. I mean, if you want thin sliced pork chops and you don't see them, ask them in the back for it. They have it. You know, if you want your meat sliced a certain way, pick up your meat, pick up your chicken, take it to the butcher and say, listen, can you slice this for me? They will be do it with a smile. I all when I want my um when I want to do my um jerk pork when I want to do my curry chicken you know I have them to cut it up for me that saved me some time even though I know how to cut it up but you know they, they just got that mm, that grind that electric blade that they use so that works. Let I me mean, take advantage. You guys want that meat? Get it, get it done. Go to Publix and have it done. Now that y'all have y'all famous butcher at a meat market, I don't know. I don't trust meat markets too much. I had two bad experiences at meat markets. One, what my husband did, he came back one day with these three bags of meat, and he was so excited because all he spent was like twenty five dollars. I say, you don't spend twenty five dollars for for, the, for all this meat. I'ma tell y'all, as soon as I just opened up the bag, I told him to take it back. He smelt it. I said, let me tell you something. When you go into a meat butcher and you smell, it don't smell right, it's just time to turn around and walk out. Just in case if anybody don't know that, you just turn around and walk out. Because you're not supposed to smell the meat. No. You're not even supposed to smell fish. If I walk into a store and it smells like fish, I'm not shopping there. I'm, I'm definitely not shopping there. Yeah, um, no. Two, two experiences for me was good enough. I mean, it wasn't my experience. Always my husband. You know, he tried to find a cheaper, cheaper store. But you know what that, that true saying is, you pay for what you get. So ever since then, when we want to get meat, you say you're going to Publix and get something. I say, if what, I'm going to get some meat, sure, I'm going to get some meat. Uh-huh, yeah. Right at Publix, and we move, what, two minutes from one? Well, what we at now, it's everything. We got the Publix, we got the Walmart, we got the um, Winn-Dixie, we got CVS, we got Walgreens. Um, we got um, what? We got Popeyes, KFC, Colonels, McDonald's, Publix, Wendy's, Golden Corral. Um, what else we got over here? Um, we got Popeyes. We got um, what's the ice cream shop? There's Dairy Queen. Oh my God! We got Chinese restaurant. We got Asian. We got um. Hopefully I said everything. We don't even have to go nowhere. If I want something to eat, all I got to do is get in my car and go two minutes down the road or three minutes down the road. The most I have to go far is maybe three minutes. 
to the Chinese buffet if I want to go to the Chinese buffet. But we could just get out. If we if it wasn't too hot, me and my daughter probably say, let's go take a stroll. But no, we're not doing that. So we just end up. That's why I say where I love where we live at because we surrounded by when I say literally, we only the the furthest thing from my house is the Chinese restaurant buffet. And that's three minutes down the road. We can't get it no better than that. But if we want to go to a Target, Target is like 10 minutes. I think Target is 10 minutes away. Yeah, I think Target is on the tip. So, you know, all the major shops, we have a Kato's by us. I mean, it's like Kato's maybe two, three minutes. So I've come to think about it, maybe three minutes away. Hmm. We got a dollar store. Oh, we, child, we are like right here. Oh, I'm gonna say, I know I can get around this corner and all of a sudden there's traffic. Oh, mm -mm -mm. yeah, we got so much stuff. <sighs> you know what? I'm almost to work and I'm spending it all talking with you guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I, you know, that's why I say the where we move that. Let me tell y'all. Maybe I can tell y'all in another video because whoo, it was a lot when, we, when it was time for us to move because of COVID. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go into more details, but just to let you guys know, it took us, I think, four and a half months, maybe five months to close. When Because we were supposed to close and COVID happened. Bam. Everything was shut down. Everything was shut down. So, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start back talking with you guys maybe later. Because right now I'm getting ready to get off. I'm getting ready to go into the office. Hopefully there's someone waiting for me there. You know, oh, we're not even open yet. But still, they could be hanging outside looking at the pictures on the window of a house. You know, and there's a Publix right there that can go inside. Or there's a... um hurricane wings the hurricane grill next door there's a chinese place next door there's a nail shop let's see there's a wendy's um there's a chinese place i said that hopefully i said that i didn't say that twice but there's so many things to do um why are they waiting on us to open up which be, which would be great i mean get that first person coming there i don't care if it's a buyer or a seller Oh, yes. I need to tell y'all something. I mean, I was blessed with a seller one time. She wanted to sell her house yesterday. <laughs> she came in with her keys and everything and said, I want to sell my house and move. I'm like, okay, so what do you want to do? She said, here's the keys. Just I said, sorry, but it doesn't work that way. She said, no. I said, no. I first would have to come to your house with you, sit down, walk through it, discuss some things with you, and make sure that what you want to do is right. Is you know, it's good. You don't have to do anything to it. She said, Oh no, I gotta do anything, it's already clean, everything is done. I said, Okay, so I met her uh, at her house um that day. When I got off, I met her there like two. Was it? A, yeah, around two o'clock I met her there. And oh, she was so ready. I had the papers, everything ready. She signed it. I had my camera, no, I didn't have my camera. I took the pictures with my um, phone. I had already did my due diligence. The prices should be in everything. This how much she wanted to sell the house. She said, listen to me, Miss Tina, Christina. I don't want to be in no competitive market. She said, I looked at what these condos, these condominiums are selling for over here and how long they be on the market. But listen, I want you to put mine for this price. I said, but, but. She said, if you can't do it, I will find someone. I said, no, I could do it. I'm just saying, but why you want to sell so low? She said, because I am so ready to get out of Jacksonville. She said, I have family problems and I don't want to be sitting here worried 
about this getting sold. I say, well, it looks like you have everything out already and you don't even have to be here. You know, I put a lockbox on it and, you know, whenever it's ready. She said, but I don't want to come back with no issues and stuff like that. I want it to sell as soon as you put it on the market. I'm like, and I'm saying to myself, oh my God, this is going to sell as soon as it goes on the market. Because it was so, I mean, when I say it was way below market value, I mean, she went like maybe 30000 under. But what can I do? You know, I couldn't convince her to do anything else. And I got a cash offer within five days. And I already knew she was going to accept it. I was so mad. But I still had to present it to her. And she said, Tina, you already know. I said, yeah, but I still got to do my due diligence and let you know, you know, what someone offered. And we closed within, what, two weeks? Cash deals don't take long because they didn't even want to pay for no inspections or nothing. We come to find out that they lived in the, in, the, in the condo and they know about the area and all that. So they had the money when they saw it came available they want to jump on it because one of their families already owned one so that what made it oh man that was that was crazy though but she was very pleased with me she called me twice thanked me for everything that i've done for her you know and but i haven't heard from she moved to georgia but i haven't heard from any well i shouldn't have a reason but she should send me a referral though. Hopefully she send me a referral. I know I should reach out to her and see how she's doing. You know, maybe, you know, she's doing good. Maybe she misplaced my number. I don't know. Cause she left, you know, so promptly she was out. Yeah, so mm, I'm gonna see it. Call her as soon as I get into the office. I, sh I don't have nothing to make notes because I really don't like to um write text and all that while I'm driving. I rather just wait till I'm not I don't even do it at a stoplight. Cause see right now I'm in a stoplight with this stoplight gonna take a good two minutes. Yeah, maybe I'll call her. That should that would be my first person since I get back. If I remember. Cause like I said sometimes my brain think about something and then I don't think about it anymore. You know, I really don't think about it no more. So let me see how that goes. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Wait until I sit into the parking lot. Cause I'm gonna get caught at that light too down there. Mm-hmm. You got tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So I'm gonna end this video here by saying, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my video, like my video, Hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified when the next video is up. And don't forget, follow me down in my link in my bio. So you guys have a wonderful, safe, and a blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.